Hey guys, it's Alpha. Just wanted to provide a quick market update and show you guys the opportunities that I'm seeing right now. Um, we'll be talking about three coins in this video, Solana, AVAX, and Luna. So uh, going off with Solana, as you guys can see that it's coming towards my price target, uh, which is this trend line right here. And I really see a buying opportunity in this box right here. If you guys want the exact numbers to be 102 to 100. And I really think it's possible that Solana could hit this uh, trend line just because I already bought at uh, at this hit right here. And when it broke down past this $155 level, I knew that there's going to be a longer dip and more opportunities to buy. So there's a possibility also that it could go below 102 or 100 and go all the way back down to $80. And if that does happen, I'll use it as another buying opportunity. So. I'm still bullish long term on Solana. I think, you know, a dip in the market is always a chance to get in and a chance to to come back for this bull run because we are in a bull run. So next coin will be AVAX. OK, so for AVAX, it's a little bit diff different story just because of Curve and Aave launching pretty soon. There's been a lot of hype around it leading up to the launch. And you can see it picked up about to $75 over here. And it just took a dramatic and unexpected dump after that, just because of the markets crashing. And we see it crashing again right now. And as you can see, it kind of retested the same uh, price points about four times a year, which is about $56 area. And that's really um, a sign that, you know, AVAX doesn't really want to go that much down compared to other coins. So I would say that it's a bargain to buy it even at this price point right now. Um, if you're able to get in pretty soon, that'd be great. But if we do see a longer dump, then we can expect it to be over back down to $38. But I think this is unlikely because of the liquidity mining program being released on, on AVAX. Uh, we can expect this to reach all the way up to $150, if not $250. Okay, and the third coin would be Luna. And I'm overall bullish on Luna. Um, it's a great crypto, great coin, great team. Um, that's always going to be demand for Luna because of the uh, UST demand and the lending and borrowing uh, protocol that that uh, is built on Luna. So my buy points for Luna, I already bought when it broke this trend line, and it could theoretically go down below twenty dollars. Um, I do have some uh, Luna uh, as collateral on Anchor, and I do borrow some UST. So if it does go below here, I would have to repay some of my debt, but um. I don't think it would go below $20, but if it does, I just see it as another buying opportunity. Um, I've already bought uh, some of these cryptos today and yesterday, and I'll probably buy some more tomorrow. But um, I'm just letting you guys know um, if there's another opportunity that would come um, in the next few days to buy because these levels, you would probably never see them again. I do like to see you know these opportunities get taken up at these price points just so we can have conviction in what we actually believe in. Because these are the top three cryptos that I believe in, and I know that will do well the long term. And I think that's more important than speculating or thinking one crypto or two cryptos are the best of it all. And that's it for today, guys. Um, that's, I just wanted to give you guys my input on the markets. Um, don't expect this kind of video too often, but on days like this, I like to give an explanation of what I'm trying to do and what I'll be doing with my bag. So, so I'm still sticking to my bags and still thinking that we'll be good in the long term.